All right, so this can be a quick instructional video on how to set up your Krautworks supercharger system for your proper belt tension, so that way you don't end up damaging the belt, bearings, oil seals, and other products that could be affected by it. To make sure this gets done properly, we're gonna try and show you how to do it by feel instead of using the apps or an expensive tool, so that way if something happens while you're out on the trail, you're able to successfully do this procedure without messing anything up. So let's hop in here and take a look real quick. So we're gonna start off here. It's a brand new kit. Hasn't gotten any miles or anything on it, so we're gonna show you how to set up the belt tension. This process is gonna be the same, either if it's on a KRX or Razor 1000 or a YXZ kit, it's gonna be the same sort of concept. So we're just gonna start off making sure that our tensioner is out of the way. What you're gonna to wanna to make sure is that it is on the furthest rib, so there will be one rib exposed on both pulleys when you're setting up this belt. So once you confirm that you have an open rib on each pulley, that lets you know that your belt should be properly aligned to where it needs to be. From here, we're gonna set up and drop in your tensioner. Get it in place. Get it lined up and we're gonna make sure you get your Allen bolt started. So this Allen bolt here is gonna be what pretty much keeps your tensioner and everything in place. This adjuster bolt up top is gonna to help you set the tension, but it's not gonna lock it in. So if you lose this, you're gonna have problems. So you wanna make sure both, once this is set, this isn't torqued properly. And we're gonna show you that step as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start tightening down this bolt, which is gonna help start setting the tension. So how we're gonna kind of show you how to set up this tension properly is by feel with this upper tensioner idler. You wanna be able to spin this fairly freely with your hands. If you're really struggling to spin it, your belt is gonna be set too tight. And these belts get tighter once they get heated them and high at a higher RPM. So you just wanna make sure you get a proper feel. If you feel like you're not sure, I would rather these belts be on the looser side just because when these things are spinning at 9,000 RPM, everything gets tighter. So at some point, once it gets up to operating temp and everything, it should be perfectly fine. We got a ton of belt wrap in these systems, so you shouldn't have to worry about belt slippage or anything. So right there actually feels pretty good to me. You can see it's not free spinning, it's not walking around. So let's get this bottom lock bolt for the Allen more torqued down. All right, so now we're gonna set the tensioner locking bolt right here with the five mil Allen. So get it started, just make sure it's snug. Then from here, you wanna, if you're gonna do it properly, you wanna make sure you grab your torque wrench. So for this particular bolt, we're gonna set this up at 10 foot pounds. Make sure you get in there and you want to make sure when you're using a torque wrench, you're using it properly. So make sure it's nice and straight. You're not getting any weird leverage or anything on it. All right about there should be good. All right, so let's tighten up this lock nut. Make sure not everything stays in spec. And then from there, you double check your work. See how that's still spinning. It shouldn't free will, you shouldn't be struggling too hard to get that dialed in. So that right there should get you safe and back on the trail and keep everything working properly.